about some heroic efforts. Here's the scary thing, though. This storm is far from over. It still has power. Bob's on location in New Jersey, so PJ is joining us this morning, and he's got the maps out. You can see that Sandy's next phase for many people is blizzard-like conditions. Good yeah. morning. Yeah, especially in the mountains. You know, as we saw in some of the video, Robin, the temperature is definitely getting cold enough, so the moisture is still there. We've picked up some 10 inches, five to six more inches possible in a few areas, and a massive storm we've talked about, uh, measuring about a thousand miles across from the coast of the Atlantic out towards the upper Midwest. You're feeling gusty winds. You're getting at least some rain showers with the storm. So we talked about this. If you took the storm and made it into a country, it would be the 20th largest country in the world, roughly twice the size of Texas. That's how big of a storm we're talking about simultaneously impacting much of the northeast and mid-Atlantic states, the southeast, even portions of the upper Midwest as it sits in place. So where is it going? Well, over the next 24 hours, it will gradually head westward over Pennsylvania, then gradually head northward out towards southern portions of Canada. As it does, notice the precip coverage, the rainfall, the snowfall, minimizes here, but some of the snow is still left across the higher elevations. West Virginia, one area we want to share with you some video out of Nicholas County. And take a look at this.